is so strange. Hey, Anna. Hi, Ashley. Are you talking to yourself again? No, not this time. I was talking to Pete. How's he doing? Good. He has a birthday coming up, but he told me not to tell anyone. Why? Well, from the way he was speaking, I don't think he likes cake, or presents, or fun. That sounds like Pete. Well, I don't care. I'm getting him a present. Do you know where I can buy something unique? I do. Tanglewood Works. You will definitely find something unique there. Great. I'll go this weekend. Now, speaking of Pete's birthday, what else should I do? I know. I'll rent him a clown. Yeah. He'll never speak to you again. No. <laughs> Did you hear Ashley and Anna using the words talk and speak? Talk and speak both mean to say words. And many times you can use either word without losing any meaning. But there are some differences in when we use these words. The word talk is usually used for conversations between two or more people and informal situations such as between friends or family. For example, Ashley asks Anna, are you talking to yourself again? Speak is usually used for one-way communication, such as presentations, formal situations, such as a boss speaking with her workers, to talk about language ability, and in polite requests. Keep watching and listen for the words talk and speak. Hey there, welcome to Tanglewood Works. I'm Sue, how can I help you today? Hi Sue, I'm Anna. A friend told me about your store. She said, Anna, this place is really unique. We are. Here at Tanglewood Works, we focus on things that are handmade, reclaimed, and recycled. Wow, that is really good for the environment. It's really good for you too, local artists, made all of these one-of-a-kind pieces. And I paint most of the furniture. Can I look around? Oh, please do. So Anna, do you like to make things? Me? Oh, no. Every time I try to make something, something goes wrong. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Anna, everybody can make something. Sue, so, this piece is very interesting. You know, when I found these pieces, they were broken and in a dumpster. But they spoke to me and they said, save me, Sue, save me. Sue, so, what do you mean they spoke to you? When I see something special that someone has thrown away, I can almost hear it talk. <gasps> yeah, it's not saying anything. Anna, it's not easy to see the treasure in trash. Or hear it talk. But you can learn. In fact, I teach private classes, and one is called Turning Trash to Treasure. Next week, bring in some trash, and we'll turn it into treasure. Just remember, Pick some trash that speaks to you. Got it. I'll see you next week.